Yep. Transit landing in December. Brilliant idea. Well, this is a world nice surprise. Get some champagne. It's the same old story being told inside my head. I'm too shy to straighten up my bones. So you can probably tell by my hair, <laughs> it is windy here and pretty darn chilly. Nobody is out on the outer deck uh, unless you're in a coat. Unlike me, Canadian, I'm in a t-shirt, <laughs> so I'm having a good time. But the sea conditions considered rough. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but we are moving like this. I'll show you some footage about from the side of the ship a little earlier. Most of the decks are closed except for this one because it's kind of, as you can see, I have a, a fake wall, a little bit of a wall here, and this side is covered. So a little bit less chance of being blown from the wind, but deck seven, 12, 13, 14, all closed, just too windy. But it's still beautiful out here. I don't know. I'm crazy, I guess. I just love this kind of weather. <laughs> and the ocean like this. The rocking puts me to sleep like a baby. And so I definitely enjoy this kind of rocking on the ship. Here, let me see if I can show you from the sky view. So if you look at the clouds, it's not the clouds moving, it's the ship moving. <laughs> Just rocking back and forth. And that's with the stabilizers out. So you can imagine how bad it would be if there were no such thing as stabilizers. So as you saw, one of the drawbacks of a rough day at sea is a lot of the decks are closed and you can't go. Uh, even illuminations at the planetarium was closed today and you have to really be careful walking up and down the stairs. I've seen a lot of people fall over today. And as you can see, these elevators are pretty much all over the ship. And they have to be, because the ship is pretty cut up.
lot of people out there. Take a look at these. This is on deck two. And because of the positioning, a lot of people think these are windbreakers or water breaks or just modern art. And in reality, they're spare propeller blades, known as the captain's cufflinks on the Green Mary 2. So while there's nothing really set up right now, you can see we have the wiffle ball court over here. Over here, we have the driving range. And normally, this area is set up for shuffleboard and different games that they play during the time, during the sea days, but it's pretty windy out there. We just saw a group over there try wiffle ball and it went everywhere. So this has been the calmest day of the trip so far and it's still pretty windy up here as you can see from the smoke on the stack heading out there. One thing again about an old design of a ship Look at all this space up here. It almost seems wasted. Somebody seems a little curious. Smile. <laughs> and the area is effectively called the lookout. So unlike a lot of ships that have a forward viewing area that you can head out, this is about as close to the front as you can possibly get here and you see it goes all the way along the front of the ship now what's different about the queen mary and a lot of the cunard ships is that they are true ocean liners so they're meant to go through rough seas all the time where other cruise ships are just sailing you know one or two times a year maybe three times a year across the ocean to new ports and new destinations where the queen mary does it on a regular basis so this part of the structure here is actually part of the brake that goes along the front of the ship so what that was is a, a metal brake wall that goes around the front of the ship it was uniquely designed to the Queen Mary 2 at the time and what that does is if we hit any rogue waves going across the water you know waves that'd be like 70 feet 80 90 feet uh, on a normal cruise ship those would bust right through the front windows of, uh, of some suites. You can see it's getting windy up here. But on this ship, it would hit that break and it disperses the waters to the side and it's reinforced all the way around. So if you hit a 80 foot wave out there in the viewing area, you're still fine. Not a lot of ships can say that. So again, <laughs> look at the tarp blown over here. This is the most windy day of the trip. And the least rocky waves out there. So I'll give you an idea what the trip was like. Now the Queen Mary just rode these waves like nothing. Um, you did feel it move, you did feel it rock to side, but you weren't thrown any direction. You know, you'd have felt this a lot more in a lot of other cruise ships, for sure. Well, behind me, there's a couple brave souls going into the pool. That would be three people in the pool on a seven-day trip. It's the same old story being told inside my head. I'm too shy to straighten up my bones. Apparently, the Queen Mary 2 sign is the largest sign that's illuminated on any cruise ship in the world. Okay, I'll believe them. I might have to check that out tonight. So, really, <laughs> that's actually about it. 
So really, I'm quite surprised that <laughs> on Gunnard, the casino is really tiny. Like it's one of the smallest I've ever been in on a lot of ships. That really surprises me. So there you go everybody, there's just a quick walk around that I had on the Queen Mary 2. It absolutely is a gorgeous ship. I love all the tradition on the cruise as well as they have some fantastic lectures. It really is a kind of a cruise that's totally relaxing, sophisticated, it's a first class cruise line. Everybody was so nice and everybody was so professional on board. And it actually is a learning almost experience when you're on board. It just, it just feels really, really good. Unfortunately, the weather did not really cooperate. It's pretty much the first cruise in about three years that I've had any kind of bad weather. And it really wasn't so much bad weather. It was the time of year we were sailing. We should expect it, and I did. But this cruise was more of a relaxing cruise uh, before Christmas and the holidays, kind of a little reward for Kind of a little reward for all the work during the year. Just get down and relax. In case you're wondering what that noise is running around, that's my cat running around chasing a piece of paper. Right when I'm recording. Didn't do it all morning. Just when I'm recording. Well, the transatlantic was a great cruise. I'll have a little bit more about the Queen Mary 2 uh, going forward as well. I hope you like this video and I hope you'll give the Queen Mary 2 a try and especially try a transatlantic cruise because you just have to try one at least once. <laughs> Literally lying at my feet playing with a piece of paper. Cats. <laughs> Hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.